Have you ever wondered why David Mitchell doesn't say much? It's because he can't. Say what? Hi again everyone, I hope you're all doing really well and having a great weekend. Um, I've been watching a few videos on other channels about Marlin Automotive and I'm not going to name names because I don't want to you know, be one of those people who poke fun at things. But there's been like a lot of people saying, why doesn't Dave Mitchell come out and speak more? Why doesn't he say more? There's actually a really simple answer to that. He's the CEO of the company. He can't say anything unless it's basically official. Um, if he is to start saying anything, it's speculating about what Mullen could be and where, it, you know, you know, just dropping rumors about things. You know, he's got a, he walks a very fine line and then that can be going down the avenue of, um, you know, manipulating the stock movements. Uh, so, and obviously, as a CEO, he has a role to try and, you know, steer the company in the right direction. So anything he sort of says, speculating about where the company's going, generally it's going to have a bit of a positive spin on it. So if he's to say something and it's not to come, you know, it starts to get a bit grey. So there's, a, there's actually a real official reason why David Mitri can't say much, um, you know, in terms of what's going on with Mullen until it's actually officially going on. So he can say things when there's an official partnership announced. He can say things when there's been an update in, um, you know, the manufacturing or deals that they've made. Okay. He can say things on that, but he just can't say things speculating. Like, yes, we should be getting um, manufacturing started on this date. He can't say the exact date because he has to make sure all the ducks are in line. He can say the estimated date, but you know, that's the thing. He can't come out and say anything because it becomes into that gray area of stock manipulation. That's the unfortunate truth of when you're the CEO of a publicly listed company. Lawrence Harge, who says almost anything, um, he's not the CEO of a publicly listed company. He's technically the CEO of a limited liability company, uh, which is different, but it's technically not a traded, officially traded company. Although the fact that Mullen owns 51% of it, which is a publicly traded company, is why I actually strongly believe that people at Mullen um, whoever handles whatever little bit of PR they do has probably spoken to Lawrence Harge quietly about, you know, being careful what he says because, you know, they technically own the majority of that partnership. So therefore, you could say it's an asset of a listed company. Um, and I think that's kind of why there's been a bit of a reining in and doctoring of Lawrence Harge's social medias, for instance. Anyway, so I think the bottom line is whatever good news is going to come out, if you know, hopefully there's going to be good news uh, regarding production updates, um, you know, partnership sign, uh, finalising of the contract with uh, Mayo for the M EMM technology deals. It's going to come out at an official level. The businesses shouldn't be speculating on it. Um, it was like we got into a very dangerous habit, I think, when Lawrence Hodge was, uh, you know, talking about all the deals he's doing in the Middle East and all the speculation started happening there because, you um, while he might have had some stuff lined up and that hasn't come, we've, well, we've kind of seen what's happened there because it didn't, nothing has kind of actually eventuated from that yet. I'm not saying that it won't, but yeah. So when you're in a listed company, you don't speak unless you actually have something that has happened or is happening or is official to say. Uh, anyway, I won't go on this point anymore. I think you guys get it. Um, it's the reason why Dave Mitri just can't come and say, yes, we are going to start doing X on day Y. Um, like I say, we are hoping to do it this month. Okay. Um, that's why you don't hear from him very much. He can't be out there being, you know, some PR mouthpiece because what he says, people see it as the official position on what's going on with Marlin Automotive. And obviously he's start straddling the line of stock manipulation because it's a public company. Anyway, it's the weekend. You guys all know what happened to Mullen last week. Dropped about 40%, uh, including about 8% on the Friday. Shorts is just ravaging it. Uh, and I think also the fact that there's going to be a bit of a liquidation event on Monday. That's what's weighing on the stock at the moment. Um, you know, if someone was saying like, why don't we ask questions of Dave Mitchell about the dilution? Um, his simple answer is going to be, it's a necessary for the continued operations of the company because we don't have any revenue and what we're doing costs millions of dollars. Um, it might be worth asking, like, has all the spending on of the money being raised, has that been um, wasteful or has, has it been an efficient use? That would be a good question to ask. Um, maybe in the next earnings call, someone might actually raise that. Just a couple of thoughts. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I'm having a long weekend down at the holiday house. It's been great. That's why you're seeing me shooting in all different locations at the moment. But yeah, um, until next time, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.